to start getting ready for the ceremony and take your seats if you are sitting. So five minutes.
All right, we will now be starting the ceremony. Thank you all for coming. If you can please stand as we start the ceremony. Thank you. Good morning and thank you all for being here with us today. Uh, you guys can all take your seats and uniform personnel at ease. On behalf of myself, our South Metro Board of Directors and all of our South Metro family, we're incredibly grateful to have you here to join us. I'd like to um, first off thank our pipes and drums and honor guard, the men and women uh, who have served faithfully uh, through the years. Uh, I'm so proud of that group. Um, and uh, Tommy Barella from Douglas County, our adopted firefighter, uh, is over there as well. Thank you so much for your service, your commitment, uh, your heart for our men and women. And I'd like to uh, take some time to recognize some special guests in attendance as well. Retired mayor uh, from the city of Greenwood Village, Ron Rakowski, is up front with his lovely wife, Margaret, who also served as a board of director and our board chair. Uh, from one of our the parent organizations that now make up South Metro. And from the city of Centennial, what a wonderful representation, Mayor Pico. Thank you so much uh, for, for being here, uh, as well as Mayor Pro Tem Richard Holt, Council Member Don Sheehan, uh, Council Member Candace Moon, uh, Council Member Mike uh, Sutherland as well. And then uh, in a show of solidarity, 
Uh, I certainly appreciate uh, Dave Walcher being here. He's active, uh, our act, acting sheriff uh, for Douglas County. Dave, thank you uh, for being here, as well as Richard Solomon, the fire chief from Sable Altura, who bought a, brought a contingent of firefighters uh, with him from Sable Altura to recognize our fallen firefighters. Thank you very much for being here. And I'd like to recognize uh, retired uh, Littleton Fire Rescue uh, Fire Chief and, and a dear friend of mine, John Mullen, uh, for being here and, and uh, uh, recognizing and, and honoring the fallen firefighters on our wall, of which, unfortunately, several of them uh, came from Littleton Fire. And lastly, Stephanie Stanley, General Manager for Highlands Ranch Metro District. Thank you, Stephanie, for being here. But most importantly, I want to thank uh, the families and, and the friends of our fallen firefighters uh, for being here today. Thank you for sharing this, uh, this time with us uh, to remember the loved ones who have passed, uh, those who have given, in, in, given all in service to our community. Our, help, our heartfelt thanks to all of you for being here and also for those who may be watching from far away. I don't know if you know, but we're, we're having this live streamed and I know there's at least one individual watching from Florida. I think there are um, several others that are here uh, long distance as well. And we're here for two reasons. First and foremost, we gather to remember and honor our fallen, brave individuals who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. And we stand together unified as we pay tribute to these selfless individuals who dedicated their lives to protecting our communities and ensuring our safety. And then secondly, to collectively come together as one family to, to share stories, to be in fellowship and in remembrance. Honoring these individuals brings us closer together as one family continues to solidify our strong ties we will always have with one another. We will forever be woven together and connected. All of the individuals we remember today were cherished family members, cherished friends, and cherished members of our community. They embodied the spirit of service and sacrifice, leaving a lasting impact on the lives they touched and the memories they forged. And as you can see behind me at our memorial, we've had to tragically add names to this wall over the years, which no fire chief wants to do. And I walk by the memorial uh, every morning that I come to work and I'm reminded of one of our brothers whose name is etched into this wall. What they gave and the stories they leave behind are a constant reminders of the dangers of the job. And if you know any of them, you'll know that they were incredible individuals, that they were uh, and the people they touched uh, the lives they saved and the impacts they made uh, were noble. Today we remember John Cernich Sr., John Wood Jr., George Burton, John Hager, John Elling, Jeff Christ, Eric Sandine, Mike Freeman, Troy Jackson, and Tony Pilato. All of these individuals are an integral part of the foundation of our South Metro family. A little over a month ago, I had the honor to, to spend some time uh, with Megan and Bella Pilato and um, friends and, and members of Tony's family in Emmitsburg, at the memorial in Emmitsburg. And um, it, it was, um, like in our family, we, we call it a bittersweet uh, event. Uh, Heart-wrenching and, and f wonderful at the same time, uh, usually back to back to back to back. Uh, and, and the event was, a, w was amazing. One of the things that um, we have committed to doing as an organization is, uh, is to add the uh, bricks to the memorial. Um, it's not the wall. Um, it actually is the wall and the, and the walkway. We will add bricks uh, for the nine firefighters that aren't remembered by a brick. Lori uh, Jackson's here with us, and uh, I think she already took care of that for Troy. Uh, but I don't believe that the other nine names that we have on our wall are remembered in Emmitsburg, and, and we're going to fix that. Uh, and make sure that they're represented in, in Emmitsburg. So as we sit here today and recognize the ultimate sacrifice that each one of them made, we're faced with the stark reality of the toll that the fire service can have on people and it can have on families. But despite these risks that we all face in this profession, remembering these individuals is also a reminder of why we do it. We do it because we're called to do it. We do it to serve. We do it because of our love of the fire service and we do it so that we can take care of people, like family, on the worst days of their lives. It's clear that this is sometimes at a great cost, 
Undoubtedly, the fire service has changed over the decades. It is in a constant transition from the lessons learned by those who have gone before us. We are always striving to want to make it better for those come after us. These individuals are a testament to why it is important we never forget them, all they did for the fire service and our community, our organization, and their beloved families. To the families who are left behind and who are sitting here today or watching from afar, we cannot begin to comprehend the void that your loved ones have left in your lives. We stand beside you offering our support and eternal gratitude. Please know that your loved ones will never be forgotten and their legacy will live on. We are forever grateful and, indebt and indebted to you and to them. Service before self is a powerful motto that emphasizes the importance of prioritizing putting the needs of others ahead of personal interests or desires. It signifies a dedication to serving dedication to serving the greater good and making a positive impact on the world. And by embodying this principle, individuals demonstrate their commitment to selflessness, compassion, and the betterment of their community and the organization. John Cernich Sr., John Wood, George Burton, John Hager, John Elling, Eric Sandin, Jeff Christ, Mike Freeman, Troy Jackson, and Tony Pilato paid this ultimate sacrifice and absolutely embodied this motto of service before self. So today we reaffirm our commitment to honor their memory and may we continue to carry on their legacy and remember and honor their lives for generations to come. May we never forget their ultimate sacrifice. Last year, uh, I read a poem by George Hahn, uh, but there's so many more people here this year, different people. I'm, felt led to read it again. I have never dreamed it would be me, the badge no longer on my chest. My name for all eternity, I sleep now in eternal rest. Recorded here at this hallowed place, my sword I pass to those behind. Alas, my name, no more my face, and pray they keep this thought in mind. In the line of duty, I hear them say, I never dreamt it would be me. My family now the price will pay, and with heavy heart and bended knee, my folded flag stained with their tears, I ask for all here from the past. We only had those few short years. Dear God, let my name be the last. The men and women of today's fire service are confronted with more dangerous work environment than ever before. We are forced to continually change our strategies and tactics to accomplish our tasks. Our methods may change, but our goals remain the same as they were in the past. To save lives and to protect property, sometimes at a terrible cost. This is what we do, this is our chosen profession, and this is the tradition of the firefighter. The fire service of today is ever changing, but is steep in tradition, over 200 years old. One such tradition is the sounding of the bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, 
It was the bell that signaled the beginning of this day's shift. Through the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell, which summoned these brave souls to fight fires and place their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow man. And when the fire was out and the alarm had come to an end, it was the bell that signaled to all the completion of that call. When a firefighter had died, it was the mournful toll of the bell that solemnly announced a firefighter's passing. We utilize these traditions as symbols, reflecting honor and respect on those who have given so much and who have served so well. To symbolize the devotion that these brave souls had for their duty, a special signal of three rings, three times each, represents the end of our brothers' and sisters' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. And so, to those who have selflessly devoted their life for the good of their fellow human, their task completed, their duties well done, to our brothers and sisters, their last alarm, they are going home. Uniform personnel, attend, oh! Uniform personnel, present. Good morning, brothers, sisters, friends, family, colleagues, everyone that's here represented. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Benson Gatia, and I'm honored to preside over our benediction today, and honored to be one of the department's chaplains to do this today. Significance is a word I've been pondering for the last few days when I knew I had a chance to present. And it only took me back home as a young man 
my dad would take me to the Freedom Fighter cer uh, ceremonial platform, which uh, wasn't too far from my village. And he would tell me stories and stories of what it took for us to earn independence. The significance that I stand before you because of the sacrifice. This morning I stand here with the significance of the names behind me. I stand here with the significance of my son with me. Never quite made sense till today that I stand the shoulders of my parents, but we as firefighters, we stand in the shoulders of the brothers that we see back here. You know, I'm reminded of Tony Pilato during Cunningham days. Brother would come to station, uh, just his laughter, his, uh, his, his, his goofiness. I remember as a new paramedic, he would take me out in Castle Rock uh, mostly every weekend and, and, and teach me about EKG, which still remains to be one of the difficult subjects that has been created. I remember him teaching me about patient assessment, but I also remember him introducing me to breakfast mimosas. <laughs> but what is it about Tony that I emulate? Is that I opted, I chose to show up every day at the station with a smile and to laugh out loud. How about my brother, Troy Jackson? Every time I've been the, I've been, I've been the admin building, uh, that, that brother was tall. <laughs> he would pick me up, my feet would dangle. And I chose from that day to always hug every time I go to work because I knew what it meant for me. I knew the belonging it created for me. I took my son and we ran through the names. And I know each and every individual name there means something to everyone in here. So we remember them. For we stand and South Metro stands in their shoulders because I know for a fact these policies, these, these things that have been created because of them, we will not have. And finally, I don't want to forget the families. My son will always remind me, hey, give me a shout out. I want a shout out to the families. Because of you, and I can only imagine the pain, the sleepless nights, the weddings, the parties, the ceremonies. On behalf of South Metro, we got your back. We always gonna have your back. For the community, we always gonna have your back. For the firefighters, families, I know we are at attention, but look at each other and know that community has your back. So we give you the respect and the honor for what you've had to carry without your loved ones. Please bow with me as we ask for a blessing as we move on from here. Heavenly Father, it's an honor to breathe today. Father, there's so much sorrow, there's tears, but also there's joy that, Lord, we have men and women who have sacrificed their lives and the significance has met and has been what South Metro is about. God, we ask the peace that surpasses all understanding, that gives us joy, that gives us grace, they may give us more and more each day we wake up and remember our fallen brothers and sisters. We ask, that gift, we ask that the significance of today to never be forgotten. As we fellowship with each other, may we remember the stories of what those names represent and also may we create new stories of each other. We ask for your grace once again, your mercy, and your provisions. All this believing in your name and trusting in you. And we all say, Amen. That concludes our remembrance ceremony, but once again, thank you all for coming to the families. 
we will never forget. You have our promise. Um, please, before we close the ceremony, um, know that you are welcome to stay as long as you'd like. We have refreshments um, and some lunch over on the table, so um, absolutely stay for as long as you'd like. Uh, will everyone please stand now as we close this ceremony, honor guard, pipes and drums, and uniform personnel are dismissed. Personnel! 